Good evening and welcome everybody to another speed build tutorial. Today is Sunday the 20th of March. I'm currently at VWBPE. This is the virtual world's best practices in education where I got a small poster area um, set up for TGIB. And um, speaking of posters, here comes the running gag. Today we want to make a pose. And um, yeah, no, haha. To do that, we gonna go in to Poser, where for those who are not familiar with Poser, uh, let me explain the, the area shortly. This one is the main area where we will see our figure. Over here are, is a window with the parameters and properties. Then we have the camera control, the light control, the editing tools, the different tabs for the figure, which we don't need. And here over here we have the library. Now, first we need the Second Life avatar to render in Poser. You can get that from the Second Life website at wiki.secondlife.com slash wiki slash clothing underscore tutorials, which is a site we already visited in another speed build tutorial, where you can get the Second Life avatar mesh here. You can download it and then open it in Poser. I already put it into my library, so let me go in here and we got a second life female and a second life male avatar. Double click on one of these reses it. To understand poses uh, and animations, both of which you can do in Poser, you have to understand how um, they work. Animations are broken into frames. Each frame um, is basically a still pose and the continuing continuous movement between the frames creates the impression of a movement. By default, Poser sets um, 30 frames and we are currently on the, on the first frame. The, the frame you're in is shown on the left. The total number of frames on the right down here is a slider where you can move between frames. We stay at the first frame. Important for Second Life is that the first frame always needs to be the T-Pose. The Second Life avatars already come uh, in a T-Pose and we need to keep this pose um, for the first frame. So any anim animation or any pose you make, you have to do from the second frame onwards. So let's go to frame number two. So we don't forget about that. Since we do only a pose now, no, no animation, we just need one frame. So let's move the number of frames down to two. The first frame is a T pose, the second frame is the pose we want it to be in. The controls in Poser are a little bit different from Second Life, but what is common is that if you hold down the Alt key, you can move the camera. Um, poser, basically, um, no, I have to explain that different. Um, the avatar in Poser is broken into several parts. There's the head, the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the abdomen, then have, we have the, upper, the um, upper arm, the lower arm, the hand, the pelvis, the upper leg, the lower leg, lower leg, and what you can see here, the feet. Uh, you might recognize these because these are the attachment points in Second Life. They are also the, the, the parts of the avatar skeleton. Each of these can be moved individually and the editing of these is similar to the editing of Prims in Second Life. You can rotate them 
Well, you can't move them, but you can rotate, rotate them in all three directions of space, which is also uh, displayed by the three familiar colors of blue, green, and red. The rotation of all of these skeleton parts will eventually create the pose. Um, actually, I wanted to make a male pose, so let's remove this current figure and let's bring a second life male avatar in here. Poser comes with several settings. Um, I'm using Poser 7. There is, There are more recent versions of Poser around already, which I am not familiar with. Um, but Poser 7 uh, has kinematics built in, which reminds me, we don't have music yet. This is Suchtmaschine and Kra. Kinematics mean that your limbs are stuck to the floor and thus if you move your avatar the limbs will or the feet rather will stay in place and the legs will move um, like the well feet are stuck in place you can do the same with the hands which helps a little bit to create a good pose when the avatar is holding onto something or standing on something. Um, to make things easier to understand, uh, let's turn the inverse kinematics off. Now, um, the hip is the anchor point of the avatar, which means the hip itself uh, controls the general rotation of the avatar. Thus it is advisory to keep it, uh, to not rotate it too much. I want to make a pose where the avatar leans onto something. Uh, oh yeah, before I forget. Let's just this. There are different ways you can edit a limb or a skeleton part. You can either click on direct manipulation where you click on the limb you want to edit and you have the three circles which you can rotate individually. Um, be sure that you click on the right circle. It's not always easy to find out which one is which. You can always also use translate and pull where you can just click on one and pull it in some direction, um, which depends on the camera position. So for example, if I pull it left here, it moves left. If I pull it left here from this position, it moves backwards. A little bit of um, knowledge about um, art is useful because then you can understand uh, that we need to have a standing leg, which is the one the weight of the avatar rests on. In this case, it's going to be the left one.
we have a resting leg, which is the left one, that is not weighed. Avatar stands a little bit, leaning to the front. something on his with his back not with the butt also note that you can only select one piece one one part of the skeleton to edit and not several at once. Notice that the neck is a very immovable part of the body, so it doesn't look very natural if you edit it too much. The most movement in the head area is actually from the head. Now I want the avatar to fold the arms.
It helps sometimes if you um, stand or pose the pose you want to do yourself so you can visualize how uh, the limbs are supposed to be. the left arm is closest to the body. That's the foot. That's one thing I don't like about poser you. It's hard from some angles to get the limb you want. Also note that um, poses are the way they look is um, shape dependent. So what looks on this default avatar shape uh, the way it should might or might not look uh, correct on your avatar depending on how much bigger or smaller it is. So it's always necessary to test poses in world Another way to edit these is via the parameters. If you select a limb, like this one, with just the right hand, you have several uh, parameters which you can just use here and they will then translate onto um, the pose. Let me show you. Um, twist moves the hand from side to side, jiggle moves it up and down and bent back and forward is well doing just that
also note also note that the hand in the default avatar is always spread which um, you can control in world uh, the hand pose can be one of several you can make a fist you can make it ha hold it relaxed you can have it a little bit crooked you can point at something or you can make the the victory sign I think um, You'll notice that twisting the head over here makes it look a little bit strange. This is this is a poser bug or a problem in poser. It will not look like this in Second Life. It does not affect the way the head will look in Second Life. Um, the pose will not affect your shape in any way. Okay, let's say I like this pose so far. Then we click on, oh, well, first off, we save it as a, um, as a poser file. And then we have to export the pose as a BVH motion file, which is the animations file that Second Life uses. We click on File, Export, BVH Motion. And you can pretty much leave the defaults. Scale automatically will work. You give it a name and there you go. Then you go to hmm. actually for this. Let's use the latest experimental of imprudence. Where is it? There, which can preview the animations in world, which is pretty useful. There we are. I'm currently at my pri private standalone. This is a bug, actually. This is supposed to be a color, but some bug in the latest experimental makes sculpts, or certain sculpts, look weird. Anyway, what we want to do is upload animation. We go to the folder where we saved our animation. This is it. Was I wrong? It seems you cannot preview it in world. Well, maybe not. When uploading an animation or a pose, you want to click loop, which means that the pose will play um, unlimited until you say it should stop. If you do not click loop, it will just very briefly play. Um, 
the priority is the priority of the p the animation in relation to other animations. So a priority three animation will override a priority two animation if it's already playing. Um, I like to set ease and in and out to something larger, like two seconds, and then we can have a look at our pose. And upload it. All right, there we go. Let me turn off my AO and play this pose. <coughs> the leg position is okay. The head is all right. It could be a little bit more downwards. The arms aren't quite the way I want it to be. They need to be closer to the body. So let me go back to poser and fix that. First off, head needs to be a little bit more here. body. Okay, let's save it again, export it as a BVH motion. And upload it again. Great, and this looks the way I would like it to look. So this was it today. Thank you for watching another one of our speed tutorials. <laughs>